It's your boy Big Sprint, Big Sprint, always watching, always listening, and you tuning in to Fire Rants, and tonight I'm with... JLD Mastermind. Okay, man, okay, man, I'm glad we finally got to meet yeah, back up and um know. redo this one. Yeah. You know, as you can see, the quality is better, you know, it's more legit now. Yes, it's been a long time since we actually spoke. Yep. That was uh, the first time we had met. Yeah, that was like oh, We uh, worked on some projects since then. So, um, let the people know, what, what you been up to, man? How's the uh, podcast running? Oh, it's pretty good, bro. We, uh, what, 32 episodes in? We just yeah. We our first live show uh, last weekend, so we just continuing to keep it moving. Try to get the episode one and keep going past there. Okay, know? how many episodes do you guys currently got out right uh, now? 32 now. So okay. 33 is about to come out this week. Um, definitely, so definitely. The podcast comes out, so make sure to check that out on our YouTube channel, Stupid Music. And as well as SoundCloud, um, at a, it's on Watch This Podcast on SoundCloud. So yeah, yeah, you start watching this, you got that shit right there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. In regards with music, man, what's going on with the music, man? Uh, Having you know, got new visuals, uh, yeah, got new yeah. music. What's going on? Some visuals. Uh, we just we just released uh, for her, so like an R and B project. We just yeah, on all platforms. So that's out. Um, working on a collab project for the summertime. Okay, collaboration. Yeah, yeah. Who could we expect to uh, hear from on there? Pretty much everybody you can think of from from this area, you know what I'm saying? 17K from people from CD, even, you know what I'm saying? Just from people from all over. Just all the friends that I connect with, with the music. Um, I got this series called Mastermind uh, Volume. Well, this one's Volume 3, but different volumes, just the songs, just me putting shit together. Um, a lot of times when I make projects, I like... I feel like I get too dive into it too much to make it sound so cohesive. So this is like a playlist for the summer. You know what I'm saying? Just a bunch of music, just put into one and just vibe out. Okay, okay. And, and um, speaking about collaboration, um, outside of Virginia, you know, Virginia alone. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not sure if you're familiar with um Thirty Flock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. and um, you watched the uh, Chillin' I interview. That. I seen that. Yep, yep, yep. And then I guess you probably heard the fuck DC yeah, yeah, comment, but not on no disrespect, yeah, yeah, but in regards of not getting credit, not getting credit yeah. with the Virginia getting credit with music. How do you feel about Virginia and that whole DMV not getting credit for um, putting like in the work? It's one of those things where I feel like as as a whole, we kind of got to work together as a Virginia. Because for me, it's weird for me because I'm from both sides. So like, I, I consider myself as a DMV as a whole, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I just think if we work together, it'll, we'll be able to come as a whole. If we keep creating the friction, I feel like it's going to always be friction. And we're going to always be outsiders. We're trying to push in. But for the ones that do make it, we got to pull each other up. That's the only way we're going to come together as a whole. Because um, I feel it, like even D.C. is not, even D.C., Maryland is not to the level of D.C. Do you even, how do you feel about pulling up, pulling up? Like, how? what does that mean to you and what it is that you do? Like pulling up, like, like, like pulling up people, you know, supporting each other, giving oh, yeah, each yeah, other yeah. a boost, you um, know, things like that. Yeah, like, I feel like that comes from like giving like the bigger artists that come out, like, let's say, like the Wale's or whoever, like, make it like stay here in the trenches a little bit, kind of see the young talent that's coming up. Like, I noticed that Pusha T starting to label out here, and things like that is where that's how we become like Atlanta. Like, I noticed in Atlanta. Young Thug got his young boys, he pulls them up. Definitely, you know definitely, and definitely. That's where we're lacking, we're missing that that structure to it. And I think once, because a lot of times I think people get a little selfish. And once you make it, it's like, turn your back on everything. But that comes from us not being united as a whole. Because we... we how do you think we must go about that, man? How, how could we get people more united and more on the same page? Right the things that we're doing right here in Fredericksburg. 17K, CD, GMI Productions. Everything we doing as far as Stupid unity, music. music, everything we doing as far as unity, yo, is that's pretty much how we do it. And like right now, like the vibe here is like a bunch of different artists, and we here chilling, and we fucking making music and doing our thing. We come together as a united, bro. I'm telling us, gonna go far. Okay, okay, so um, you got any more events coming up? Because I know you just had one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I have one, end of the month, in March. Uh, okay, and in, and in March, do you, are you familiar with what date it's going to be uh, yet? Or? March 28th, March 29th, that last Saturday of the, of the month. Okay. Um, we try to have one at, the, uh, at our uh, facility over in Fredericksburg off of Rock 3. Okay. Yeah. And is it, what type of thing? Is it a networking um, event, a uh, kickback? Week, normally, we, we last live. we had a live podcast, and we had, like, a little, like, conference, like, kind of, like, sit down, like, interviews type of style with my mom 
she goes in and has a couple topics and she'll bring up like talking about mental health things and different things like that. So this one's going to revolve more around that, more of a serious crowd. And uh, the next one we plan on having is sometime in April for the live podcast. We'll do more. That's the What's the Niche podcast, and that'll be more the explicit stuff, type of stuff. You know? Okay, and in regards of, uh, you know, your shop, your setup, where you guys, you know, do your podcast and that, have events at, and other things, um, in regards of recording, do you guys also have slots available, or how does that go? Yeah, for the most part, like, we not, I wouldn't say, like, we're, like, a running, like, studio, but for the most part, when Kirk is available, you know, he's a, he's available to do some do some uh, engineering for people, um, Javi is available, um, but for the most part, you know, just hit us up, and most of the time, we down and record you. We're just trying to help other artists, you know, fulfill their goals. Okay, okay. And what is your guys' goals? You know, what's your purpose of doing this whole thing and jumping into the, you know, culture and just the entertainment business? Like, what what, what do you expect from this? Uh, for me, it's, it's just to give back. You know, um, I want to be able to have a voice and to have a platform um, to be able to, I feel like celebrities are like the role models for a younger kid, the younger generation coming up. Like, um, they can sway whichever way things go. So I want to be able to use my voice to kind of sway the way I want it to go and not towards a negative light, more towards a positive light. Now, how important is it to you about, you know, being opinionated? Not being opinionated in like a big ego way, but just being, you know, very vocal and, and, and you know, speaking, you know, what it is you you expect and what it is you put out. How, how important is being vocal to you? Um, I think that's important. Um, it's, it's very important because... You need to be able to, to be to be able to voice your opinion on things. Um, I think a lot of times, uh, some artists you know, will we'll just kind of close our mouths when we have we know we have a platform. We just want to put the music out and then just kind of leave it at that. But sometimes it is good to voice your opinion on something to maybe sway your fans because people got hundreds of thousands of fans. Like you can really kind of change the world by just using your platform in that way. I think it's very important to use your voice to speak up. Okay. Okay, so uh, it's your boy Big Sprint, Big Sprint, always watching, always listening, and you tuning out of Fire Rands, and tonight <laughs> I was with JLD Mastermind. Okay. Yes, sir.